Hey there, in this quick video for Envato Toots Plus, I'm gonna show you how you can create a really cool 3D paper text effect using Adobe InDesign. So all you need to make this effect is a really nice font. Here I'm going to use Giza Stencil Regular. And also you'll need a paper texture. So you can find the links for both of these at the top of the tutorial. Okay, cool. So you can create your text effect on any document size. I've gone for an A3 landscape page. So expand the layers panel over here on the right side of the workspace first and double click on layer one to rename it background. Okay. Then click on create new layer and name this one pink text and create a final new layer called text texture at the top of the pile. Then lock the two top layers so we can start working on background first. You'll need a nice color palette to use on your text effect. So head over to the swatches panel and choose new color swatch from the main menu. Let's name this rose and set the levels to cyan 11, magenta 61, yellow 25 and key or black to one. Click add and done. You'll need a swatch for the background color too. So let's create another new color swatch. Name this one lemon and set the levels to cyan 5, magenta 6, yellow 100, and black 0. Just two more swatches to do. First, khaki, which is going to be cyan 19, magenta 29, yellow 93, and key 38. And then finally, maroon, which is going to be cyan 32, magenta 98, yellow 77, and key 45. Okay, so now we're ready to start creating our text effect. First up, select the rectangle tool or hit M on your keyboard and drag your mouse across the whole page. From the swatches panel, set the fill color of this to lemon. Then hit F on your keyboard to switch to the rectangle frame tool and drag over the page again. Then go to file, place, navigate to the paper texture image and click open and let that fill up the whole frame. Okay, cool. Select the image frame and head up to Object Effects Transparency. Set the mode to Multiply, bringing through some of that nice papery texture below and click OK. That's the background done, so let's lock the background layer and unlock the pink text layer above it. Switch to the Type tool, which is T on the keyboard and drag onto the page to create a text frame. So type in your word. Here it's going to be paper. Let's set the font to Giza Stencil. Um, it might save as Giazza or Giza, depending on how your computer loads the font. And up that font size to 270, 270 points. Let's set the font color to rose. Okay, cool. So now we're ready to start adding depth to the text to really give the impression of it being cut out of the yellow paper. So with the text frame selected, go to Object, Effects, and Inner Shadow. Click on the colored square next to the mode menu to adjust the effect color to maroon. Set the distance to about 0.18 inches, angle to 120, size to 0.25 inches, and choke to 30%. Add about 10% noise as well to add a bit of texture to the shadow. Now click on Outer Glow in the Effect Windows left hand menu. Switch the effect colour to Lemon and increase the opacity to 100%. Set the size to 0.375 inches, noise to 14% and spread to 5%. Then click OK to exit the window. OK, awesome. Our effect's looking really good. We just need to add a bit more papery texture into the design for a final finishing touch. So head back to the layers panel and unlock the text texture layer at the top. Now click on the arrow to the left of the pink text layer to expand it and you'll see the text element inside there. So drag this down onto the new layer button at the bottom to create a copy of it. Okay, then drag the copy up and drop it into the text texture layer. With that done, you can lock the pink text layer. We won't be coming back to that. Okay, so let's select the new text frame that's now sitting on the top layer. Go to Type and Create Outlines to vectorize the text. With the text outlined, you can now go to File and Place. 
choose the paper image we used earlier and click open. Awesome. Now with the outline text still selected, head up to Object, Effects and Transparency and set the mode to Multiply and uncheck any other effects which are applied before clicking OK. And there we go, your text effect is finished and it's looking fantastic, so great job.